Well, welcome back, all my adventurers. How's everyone doing? It's been a little while. Well, let's get started with some more boat repair and get everyone started this year. So on one of my last videos, um, I was trying to show you guys this awesome product that uh, we sell at our shop here. And because of some copyright music in the background, uh, most of the audio was taken away. So here we go again. So this product here, Super Seal, is uh, absolutely fantastic if you got to uh, an older uh, inflatable boat that's got numerous seam leaks, micro leaks, porosity leaks, you know. Just uh, a lot of aging and uh, this here will uh, save you from doing uh, a ton of patches. But uh, sit back, relax, I'm going to show you guys from start to finish on how good this stuff really is. So we're going to start off by spraying down the boat, finding all the leaks, and marking them down so we know where to roll the sealant. After we have all the leaks marked down to right where the sealant needs to go, let's get ready to deflate the boat so we can put the sealant inside. Let's now deflate the chambers and get ready to pour the sealant in there. We're going to start off with just a little bit of sealant to, to begin with, and if we need to add more down the road, we can. Using a spray bottle with some water and a rag to wipe it all down, wipe away any sealant that may have gotten on the valve. Alright, let's inflate the chambers that we just poured the sealant in and start rotating it around so we can start filling in all the little leaks that are on this boat. And I'm going to show you guys how I, can, how I roll the sealant into the areas that are very difficult to get into. As you can see, I'm making sure the boat's getting rolled over end over end to make sure the ceiling gets to the areas that we marked down. Okay, I'm going to spray down the areas that we marked off that were leaking to make sure they got all got filled in with the sealant. 
as you can see there's going to be one or two spots that are still got minor leaks which we're going to roll the sealant back into those spots so we can make sure we can fill them in and seal the boat completely. And we still have one stubborn spot here that's still leaking, which is very minor, but we're still going to roll the sealant into it, and then we're going to wait 24 to 48 hours for it to cure. As you can see, the sealant has done a really good job at sealing 90% of the leak so far. We're now just going to let it sit for the 24 to 48 hour mark so it can fully seal all those areas and this boat should be good to go. So now that we've waited the 24 hour mark, we're gonna spray the boat down right where all the leaks were, just to confirm that all the leaks have vanished and the boat is good to go. And even those stubborn leaks have disappeared. Well, I all hope you enjoyed this product demo I gave you guys. Uh, this will definitely save you a lot of patching if you've got a really old inflatable boat that's got a lot of micro leaks, porosity leaks, seam leaks. But yeah, I don't recommend using it on uh, rib boats because it is a little bit harder to rotate it completely around. And you can get a buildup of, uh, of this stuff on the bottom there, which can be uh, a little bit... Uh, of a pain in the butt to some of the repair techs. But use at your own caution. Um, people have used it in the rib boat, so I'm not saying you can't, but it's not recommended. But other than that, stay safe, everybody, and happy boating, because we will see you on the next video.